seventh part of the said ninth lesson, we continue to look at the great players and their idiosyncrasies, what appears to be a fault, yet works for them. My earliest golfing hero was Gary Player. Small man, diminutive man, didn't hit the ball very far. He was managed by the great Mark McCormack, who developed IMG. Now, IMG managed Player, Palmer, and Nicklaus. They're known as the big three. And Gary Player was always complaining because he said that Jack Nicklaus's thigh measurement was only an inch less than his waist measurement. So how was little Gary Player going to keep up with the power game of the Golden Bear Jack Nicklaus? And yet he won an incredible number of major events and he had to commute from South Africa, Johannesburg to play in America. If he'd lived in America, I think he'd almost doubled his toll, his uh, amount of tournaments won. But having said that, he dominated the game. He was renowned for dressing in black. He believed that black soaked up energy from the sun. He was the first to go full fitness and also power foods like bananas and nuts on the golf course. Um, totally committed, total uh, character, great speaker, great ambassador for golf. Uh, and they said about Gary that he absolutely believed the last thing he just said. He had 100% conviction. Now, in Alex's book, he's got a picture of Gary Player at a dress, and there's a letter K in the background, but it's a reverse K. The point being, at impact, that's where you want to be, the left arm and the shaft in line at impact. That's common to all great players. There have been a amount of shafting with irons and not so much with the wood, but you won't see great players coming in cupped here. You might see some great players bowed, but you're not going to see great players that are scooped here. So when Gary Player set up, he produced a reverse K and he had the mannerism of the right knee kicking in. So from the static address, he kicked the knee and then he took it back. So let me just demonstrate that to you. The other thing was that Gary Player was played by hook most of his career. He did a low flat toe hook and be really very, very destructive. So the K shape, the hook could come from this sort of movement, but the K shape address, if it was replicated at impact, then gave Gary Player an accuracy that he wouldn't otherwise had. And it's a classic case of the setup majorly controlling what the swing itself is going to do. And as I've said to you many times before, 90% of swing faults start at address, and the other 10% start at address as well. So what you do at address will profoundly affect not only a golf swing, but particularly the impact position, and that's the payoff, because that's what makes the ball fly. So, a little bit of Gary Player. Drop the chin a little bit, the little checked hat would turn to the side, he'd kick the knee in. Back he goes, flat swing, there's the K, and he hits a solid shot. He was so frightened of the hook, that on many shots, he would have the characteristic Gary Player walk through. So here we go. Forward press, flat swing, and he'd walk after it like that. Player knew that if he went through on that lateral line, it would banish the left-hand side of the golf course. Fascinating to me, three years ago, Tiger sat next to Gary Player in the club at Augusta at the players' dinner on the eve of the Masters. And the world's greatest player on, at the moment, Tiger turned to Mr. Player and said, Mr. Player, I'm confused about my golf swing. Now, isn't that an admission? He said, what can you tell me, Mr. Player? And he said, well, son, he said, I've played golf with all the greats from Brian Nelson to Hogan to Nicklaus to Sneed to Tom Watson and through to Tiger Woods. And he said, I've never seen a great player turn left through the ball. So there's an awful lot of theory out there about getting the top of the swing and turning left. Well, if you're a powerful lad with a strong grip and you're prone to hook, that might work as a fade mechanism. But let me just say that again. Gary Player said that he'd never seen a great player who turned left through the ball. What he knew was that they want the ball going forward. If you turn left, you're inviting the left-hand side of the golf course. And Gary knew with the kick, there's the reverse K, and the, the Gary Player walked through that was his way of getting rid of the left inside the course. So you don't 
turn left to hit the shot unless you're hitting the fade. If you want that ball to go, you go through. The weight shift is linear. It doesn't go to the left. So, Gary Player didn't have the prettiest swing, but his conviction, mentally and physically, and his desire to succeed overcame any weaknesses, and his desire to send the ball forward made sure that his swing worked.